hi friends i hope you are doing well so in this video we will discuss about how to create your free trial account how to perform isa setup okay so as we all know Environmatica now provides isas it's a cloud-based integration services okay so to create account in isas you have to go to first this link okay and top of that you have to fill this form okay and here i have used one temporary email why because uh, it generally provides 30 day free trial and for next 30 days again you have to register with your new email id one more thing like uh, aws or azure accounts it doesn't ask your credit card number or anything okay while filling this form like uh, sign up form you will see one important point here this data center location so this data center location is very important why because in previous uh, i can say that uh, religious of iacs it was not asking any data center location okay so we, you were not able to check okay my uh, metadata are getting stored at which cloud location or which or or anything it is getting managed by which cloud provider okay so now it's provide this information so it depends on your requirement you can uh, like uh, you, depends on your project uh, requirement or for learning purpose you can select select any of the mentioned cloud location you will see it is now provide aws cloud okay azure cloud google cloud and along with or oci also oracle cloud integration so let us select this cloud location okay and you just click on this start free trial areas. what will happen to me i will i will i'm supposed to receive one mail okay let me check if i am receiving the mail so it is asking i think uh, some pedestrian crossing let me provide these details Okay, also like the new images. Let me try to see if I'm missing anything. I think we are good. Please also check the new images here. Why it is asking? I hope I'm not missing anything. Please try again. Every time it's asking. what i'm missing here so select all the motorcycles okay let me select this thing all the bridges let me again try why i'm missing anything why it is generally it is trying to verify because i have used this temp email okay otherwise if you have used some gmail or anything it will not have asked to you okay so i hope it should get completed so post confirmation what will have? you will receive one email from iacs okay so you have to just go here okay and one more important thing you have to just go and copy this username and uh, your login url also okay let me copy this login url and i have to put this username here okay so now we have to verify my account let me try to verify account It was asking all these details why because we have used some uh, temporary email if you have used any gmail or uh, like some registered email like yahoo or anything it would not have asked these uh, like uh, cross things all to us okay so let us wait for a few seconds yeah so what we will for my username it is asking me some password okay let me confirm anything all oh, security option so once we are done with all these things so my uh, like uh, 
ISS account has been created now. Okay. Now I don't have any new, further need for this email ID once we, uh, we are registered with this. Okay. And uh, if you see once uh, this is my home page first time, whenever first time you are getting logged in, you will see these things. Okay. So let us uh, which source and target system are interested in basically like a uh, let me select AWS S3, Amazon S3. Okay. It will it will provide me this some recommended or some sample use cases for us, but we can put it. Uh, we don't have no no need of these things. So this is my home page, okay. And we all know like this is my data integration. This is the administration home page. So so this is basically for uh, creating all the mappings and everything. This is our administration home page where you have to create your uh, connection. You can do one more thing. So this is the main part now. So, but just like any snowflake or any other account which you have seen, it will not work in the same way. Why? Because to create your mapping, first of all, you have to install some secure agent in your system. Okay. And as I have clicked on this administration account, so from here, uh, I have to download one secure agent. Let me try to download this. You will see here all this. Uh, okay. You have to provide your runtime environment. Okay. So, first of all, what we have to do? You have to download your secure agent okay and also you have to copy this our token also okay uh, let me uh, download the secure agent so once we are done with uh, downloading and installation of this secure agent what you will do it will ask your login name and in the password section you have to provide this token okay Anyhow, in case you uh, haven't saved your token or anything, you can just go and again you can uh, generate an install token. It will uh, again tell you the same token ID. I hope we are uh, good up to this part. In the next video, I will show you like further setup. Okay, that's all from this video. Thank you.